I've been paddling for more than 30 years. You don't do something for 30 years unless you really love it. And there's lots of things to love about paddling. But you also don't do something for 30 years with, without learning about things that you hate about it. And there are definitely some things that I've learned to hate about paddling. And that's what we're talking about in this video. Before we get into it though, as always, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when the next tip, gear review, or paddling adventure goes live. Five things I hate about paddling. Number one, freaking booties. Dry booties suck on their own, but wet booties are horrible. Unfortunately, they're a necessary evil for paddling. They're the right thing to wear in many con uh, situations, but they stink and they're the nastiest things to put on, especially when they're wet. And when they're cold, it's even worse. You know what, I'm gonna expand that. Anything neoprene that, that's wet, it sucks to put on. The only thing that sucks more is putting on neoprene that you borrowed from somebody. I'm not gonna go into why. Booties suck. <laughs> Number two, freaking skirts. I mean, you don't exactly look super cool when you're walking around in your paddling gear. But when you throw on a skirt on top of that, now you've just upscaled the dorkiness factor about tenfold. Skirts, there's just absolutely no way to rock a skirt and look cool. But it's more than that. The absolute worst part about skirts is the skirt wedgies. <laughs> Putting on a skirt sucks. Number three, freaking dry tops. Dry tops, yes, they are very valuable pieces of equipment when the conditions are cold, when the water's cold, when the air's cold, but there's so much that sucks about dry tops. Putting a dry top on is miserable. These gaskets, when you're putting that over your head, it feels like you're being birthed. Once you have the dry top on, well, if it's not cold, the sun pops out, then you just sweat buckets. Not only do you sweat buckets, but you sweat buckets with this constricting latex gasket that's trying to strangle you all day long. And then it's time to take the dry top off. You're lucky if you don't get stuck with your arms in a contorted position. It feels like you're wearing a straight jacket and you just thrash trying to get the dry top off. Make no mistake, dry tops suck. <laughs> Number four, freaking rolling. Now, rolling, I have to admit, it's pretty cool. Taking a flipped kayak or a flipped canoe and rolling upright should be something that you celebrate. And you sh definitely, when you do it successfully, there should be an incredible sense of satisfaction. And people watching should be in awe of your expertise, but there's no time to enjoy that awe or that sense of self-satisfaction because you're too concerned with the fact that your head feels like it's going to explode because water has been injected up your nose at high speeds, your sinuses are full, and every cavity in your head is completely full. Rolling sucks. There is a solution, of course. That's your solution. The solution is making yourself look super dorky and having this thing pinch your nose all day long. Awesome, awesome solution. Make no mistake, rolling sucks. And last but not least, number five. And in fact, this is the number one reason why I hate paddling. It's because I can't do it every day because paddling rocks. In fact, I shouldn't be talking about paddling anymore. I should be paddling and that's what I'm gonna go do. And so please subscribe to Paddle TV, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the water.